Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and welcome to this Xbox One video where today I'm going to be talking to you about some very, very interesting information that has just come about on the internet. Now there's been a huge war between Sony and Microsoft and if you saw the conferences, you saw the massive digs that Sony were doing at Microsoft by, you know, rubbing it in about uh, trading in games, being able to play offline. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. And being able to share games with your friends and everyone thought that the Xbox One was doomed. Sony won, PlayStation 4 for the win. But today Microsoft have actually officially announced that there are some changes to uh, what we formerly know as the Xbox One and its DRM features. Now Microsoft made a post literally a few minutes ago from me making this video with an update on Xbox One. Now of course I say for the us, the future comes in the form of Xbox One, a system designed to be the best place to play games this year and for many years to come. Since unveiling their plans for Xbox, the team directly heard from many of us, read our comments and listened to our feedback. And then we've told them how much we love the flexibility with games delivered on disc. The ability to lend, share and resell these games is incredibly important. And also it's very important for the freedom to play offline for any length of time anywhere in the world. Now I can tell you guys officially this is confirmed 100% that an internet connection will not be required to play offline Xbox One games. So after a one time system setup with a new Xbox One, you can play any disc based game without ever connecting online again there is no 24 hour connection requirement and you can take your xbox one anywhere you want and play your games just like on xbox 360 so you never have to be online to play the xbox one if you don't have an internet connection the way this works is you need an xbox you need an internet connection initially when you're performing the first time system setup but after that you do not need the internet at any point for you to use your xbox one which is amazing and I'm, there's going to be a lot of kind of like back and forth arguing with Sony fanboys now that, you know, we're on equal terms now. And the second point is you can now trade in, lend, resell, gift and rent disc based games just like you do today. There will be no limitations to using and sharing games. It will work just as it does on Xbox 360. So that is amazing. Thank God they finally cleared that because that was a very, very big reason as to why I was more inclined to get a PS4 than an Xbox One. Now, in addition to buying a disc from a retailer, you can also download games from Xbox Live on the day of release. If you choose to download your games, you'll be able to play them offline just like you do today. Xbox One games will be playable on any Xbox One console and there is no regional restrictions. So weirdly compared to xbox 360 it really depended on what the game was uh stuff like call of duty was region locked but now apparently xbox one games are region free just like playstation 4 games so you can go get an xbox one from america you could import it and you can buy games from america to play in the uk and it's region free so that's the way to do it if there's any games coming out uh earlier in in the parts of the world compared to where you live you can import those games and play them on your xbox one console which is amazing now these changes will impact some of the scenarios that people have previously heard about for xbox one the sharing of games will work as it does today you'll simply share the disc download titles cannot be resold or shared obviously and also similar today playing disc based games will require that the disc be in the tray. Now Microsoft said they appreciate our passion, our support and willingness to challenge the assumptions of digital licensing and connectivity and while they believe that the majority of people will play games online and access the cloud for both games and entertainment as to be honest it is very uh, easy and it's just, it's just nice to have. They will give consumers the choice of both physical and digital content and they've listened and they've heard loud and clear from feedback that everyone wants the best of both worlds. They thank us for listening and we'll probably get more information about Xbox One uh, within the months leading up to its release. But let me know in the comment section guys if that has changed your mind from getting a PlayStation 4 solely based on the fact that Xbox had so many issues with the DRM, you know, always online stuff. Now that is not true. Has your opinion changed at all? I'd be really interested to find that out and if you enjoyed this video and it was informative, be sure to give it a like rating. I'm posted a picture from an article about this on Twitter earlier and a lot of people were asking me to make a video on this so here you go guys that was the video for you if you haven't checked out my channel then be sure to subscribe for anything Call of Duty related and loads of stuff 
leading up to the releases of both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, as I'll be getting both because I am not biased. I'm going to get both consoles because I want to get the exclusives on both consoles. Now, if you missed my upload yesterday, I uploaded the Black Ops 2 Map Pack 3 Vengeance trailer. Be sure to check that out as it is an amazing trailer. We get a look at the new zombie map Buried, as well as the four new multiplayer maps, including a remake of Summit from Black Ops 1. It looks amazing. There will be a link in the description and on the screen for you to click that and check that out. There will also be links to my Twitter and Facebook pages. If you want to stay updated, be sure to check those out. And thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace!